What is up, guys? Moma Jira here, and this past weekend was the sneak peek of Clash of Rebellions, and we didn't get to finish our set review because we didn't start it early enough, but we're going to go over everything that is combined with the OCG and the TCG, and then look at what cards are going to be just in the TCG. So, we're going to start right off the bat, but first, we have something from... Shonen a jumpu. What's it gonna be, guys? Uh, opening it. Yeah. Alright, and it is Fright Frere Tiger. And it is a dark level six fiend fusion effect monster with 1900 attack and 1200 defense. It needs ed edge and sabers. And one or more fluff foul monsters. When this card is fusion summoned, you can target cards on the field up to the number of fusion materials used for its fusion summon and destroy it. Also, all fright for monsters you control gain 300 attack for, e for all for each fluff foul and fright for monsters you control. You can only control one fright for a tiger. Not bad, guys. Alright, so aside from that, let's start off with number 21 The Black Stone of Legend. It is a Dark Dragon Effect Monster, level 1, 0 attack, and 0 defense. You can only use 1, the Black Dragon Effect, per turn, and only once that turn. Its first effect, you contribute this card, spur someone with level 7 or lower Red Eyes Monster from your deck, except Red Eyes Black Chick. If this card is in your graveyard, you could target 1 level 7 or lower Red Eyes Monster in your graveyard, shuffle into the deck, and if you do, add this card from your graveyard to your hand. Not bad. Then we have Black Metal Dragon. It is a Dark Dragon Effect Monster, level 1, 600 attack and 600 defense. You can target one Red Eyes monster you control, except Red Eyes Black Chick. Except, equip this monster from your hand or your side of the field to that target. It gains to 600 attack. If this card is sent from the field to the grave, you can add one Red Eyes card from your deck to your hand, except Red Eyes Black Chick. Then you have Red Eyes Archfiend of Lightning. It is a Dark Level 6 Fiend Gemini Effect Monster with 2500 attack and 20, 1200 defense. Kind of like um, Summon Skull. This card is as a normal monster or face on the field or in the graveyard. Also, if you can normal summon it to gain its effect. Its effect is, once per turn, you can destroy all face-up monsters your opponent controls with defense less than this card's attack. Just m adding Michael the Mist to it. Alright, next we have Protector of the Shrine. It's a Dark Dragon Effect Monster that's level 4 with 0 attack and 2100 defense. You can only use the second effect of Protector of the Shrine once per turn. This card is treated as two tributes for the tribute summon of a dragon type monster. Also, when this card is in your hand or graveyard, if a face up dragon type monster on the field is sent to the graveyard because of a card effect or being destroyed by battle except Protector of the Shrine, you can spark summon this card. Then, if that monster in the graveyard is a normal monster, you can add one dragon normal monster from your graveyard to your hand. Weird. Then we have, what is this, Dark Knight, Drago Knight, Luster, Pendulum. Okay, it is a Light Dragon eff Effect Pendulum Tuner Monster with a Pendulum Scale of 5. It's level 4 with 1850 attack and 0 defense. Its Pendulum Effect is once per turn, if you have a card in your other Pendulum Zone, you can destroy that card, and if you do, add one card with the same name as the destroyed card from your deck to your hand. This card cannot be used for a fusion, synchro, or exceed monster except a Drago Knight. Alright. Interesting. Now we go into the good ones, the Ignites. Now this is Ignite Magnum. It is a Fire Warrior Pendulum Monster with a pendulum scale of 7. It's level 3 with 0 attack and 2,000 defense. Pendulum Effect. If an Ignite card is in your other pendulum zone, you can destroy both that card and this card. If you do, add one Fire Warrior type monster from your deck to your hand. From your deck or graveyard to your hand. Then we have Ignite Eagle. It is a fire warrior pendulum effect, pendulum monster with a pendulum scale of two, level three with 1600 attack and 300 defense. If it ignite, it has the same effect as the other one. All the ignites basically have the same effect. Uh, ignite Dra Dragonov. Same effect. It is a it has a pendulum scale of 7, is level 4 with 1700 attack and 1300 defense. Then we have Ignite Musket. 
It is. It has a pendulum scale of two. It's level four with fourteen hundred attack and nineteen hundred defense. Then we have Ignite Riot. It it has a pendulum scale of no. It's level five with a pendulum scale of seven, fifteen hundred attack and twenty five hundred defense. Then we have Ignite Caliber, who has a pendulum scale of two. It's level six, has twenty one hundred attack and twenty two hundred defense. Then we have Ignite Avenger, which is a fire warrior effect monster with level, which is level seven, with twenty six hundred attack and eighteen hundred defense. You can target three Ignite cards you control. Destroy them. If you do, special summon this card from your hand. Once per turn, you could target one other Ignite monster you control. Return it to your hand. If you do, place one spell or trap card your opponent controls on the bottom of the deck. Interesting. Then we have Ignite Stinger, which is a fire warrior effect monster that's level 8 with 2800 attack and 2300 defense. You could target three Ignite monsters you control. Destroy them. If you do, spice them, discard from your hand. So they both have the same effect. Then, once a turn, you can target one other Ignite monster you control. Return to the hand. If you do, place one monster your opponent controls to the bottom of their deck. Not bad. Next, we go to the next archetype. We have a Romages. And this is a Romage Jasmine, which is a light plant effect monster with 100 attack and 1900 defense. During your main phase, if your light point is higher than your opponent's, you can normal summon one plant type monster in addition to your normal summoner set, except Jasmine. You can only gain this effect once per turn, and once per turn, if you gain life points, draw one card. Sweet. Then we have a Romage Rosemary. Oh, wait, no. A Romage Kananaga. It is a plant. It's an earth plant effect monster that's level 3 with 1400 attack and 1000 defense. Now, when your life point is higher than your opponent, all monsters your opponent controls lose the 500 attack and defense. Also, once per turn, if you gain life points, target one spell or trap your opponent control, return it to their hand. Now, we have a Romage Rosemary. It is a water plant effect monster that's level 4 with 1800 attack and 700 defense. If a plant type monster you control attacks, your opponent cannot activate monster effects until the end of the damage step, as long as your life points remain higher than your opponent. Also, once per turn, if you gain life points, target one face of monster on the field and change his battle position. Next, we have a Romade's Baragatmot. It is a fire plant effect monster that's level 6 with 2400 attack and 1800 defense. If a plant type monster you control attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing damage to your opponent as long as your life points remain higher than your opponent. Also, once per turn, if you gain life points until the end of your opponent's turn, this card gains 1,000 attack and defense. Then we have a Romage Pot, which is a wind rock effect flip monster, which is level 1 with 500 attack and 400 defense. After being flipped face up, this card cannot be destroyed by battle. After being flipped face up during each of your end phases, if this card is face up, you gain 500 life points. Then we have uh, some Infernoids. Now, this is Infernoid Decatron. It is a Fire Fiend Tuner Effect Monster, which is level 1 with 500 attack and 200 defense. If this card is normal or special summon, you can send one Infernoid monster from your deck to the graveyard, except Infernoid Dracaton. And if you do, increase this card's level by that monster's. This card's name becomes that monster and replaces this effect with that monster's original effect. Not bad. The hell is this? Uh, bird of lost, bird of paradise lost, a bird of lost paradise. It is a dark worm tuner effect monster that's level eight with twenty seven hundred attack and fifteen hundred defense. This card gains one hundred attack and defense for each tuner monster in your graveyard. Also, once per turn, you can send one tuner monster from your hand to the graveyard, then target one monster opponent controls. Take control of that monster until the end phase. I'm okay with that. 